one type of reaction is a single displacement reaction. Now, what we're going to do here shortly is we're going to take zinc metal and we're going to react with hydrochloric acid, okay? So, what's going to happen since it's a single displacement reaction, the zinc is going to get rid of the hydrogen. So, zinc is going to react to create zinc chloride, and this is going to be aqueous, and you're going to create hydrogen gas. Now, the hydrogen gas that we're going to make today, we're going to collect and we're going to test to see if this was actually made or not. So we're going to go back in the lab in a couple seconds and I'm going to show you the way of collecting the hydrogen gas from water displacement. And we'll actually test to see if hydrogen was actually collected in each bottle. We'll see you over there in a couple seconds. All right, we are going to create um, hydrogen gas and we're going to collect it over water in the following procedure. Uh, first of all, we have a pneumatic trough. Um, it's a, a pan that has a grooved into it. And what we're going to do initially is to fill this with water. Now, as this is filling with water, we want to make sure the little downspout we have there at the end is um, over a sink because this will probably shoot out water. Not really shoot out water, but water will run out. And what this is, what we're going to do here is a little bit like playing in the bathtub when we was, when we was a little kid. Um, we're going to have a bottle and the bottle like this is we're going to collect hydrogen gas in this bottle by water displacement. So what we're going to do initially is we're going to fill the bottle up with water, just regular old tap water. Make sure it is void of any air pockets or anything. I'm going to put a ceramic towel over top of it as a um, way to keep it sealed. And while this is still filling up, turn on the water a little bit faster here. All right. We have our trough filled. We have our filled bottle with water. I'm going to just flip it over, place this in the, in the pneumatic trough or the trough. We're gonna slide it off. So what happens is here, we have the water still up in the, um, we still have the water still up into the bottle. We have a situation here, which I have zinc, mossy zinc in a Erlenmeyer flask and I have this piece of equipment called a thistle tube, and I have a piece of bent glass and a hose that is attached to the end of it. So I'm going to put this on the top of the Erlenmeyer flask, and I'm going to put the end of the hose underneath up into the bottom part of the bottle of water. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to have a chemical reaction occur. I'm going to add an acid, hydrochloric acid, to the zinc, and the zinc will react with the hydrochloric acid to produce zinc chloride, which you'll see a little bit of, of uh, like a weiss looking um, cloud that's being formed, but also it's going to react to form hydrogen gas. Hydrogen is quite um, lively in terms of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, reactivity. So I'm going to add the acid down the end of the th thistle tube, easy for me to say. And we see what happens is, is we have a reaction occurring between the zinc and the um, hydrochloric acid. And if you already noticed too, the, the jar has been vacated of all water. So what theoretically should be in this was hydrogen gas that's being pumped out of the, the um, Erlenmeyer flask up through the tube up underneath. So to test to see if we have hydrogen gas, what we're going to do is we're going to create a small flame using a wooden splint 
and I'm willing to test to see if hydrogen gas is in this. So the first thing I will worry about, quickly take it off of the of the trough and I'm willing to get a wooden splint lit. And what I'm going to do is after I have this lit, I'm going to lift up the jar and see if there's hydrogen gas. If there's a hydrogen gas, a couple things might happen. It might have a loud pop. There might be a flame shooting out of the bottom, but it will make some type of sound. Okay, nothing happened. Let's try it again. Right, let's see what happened. Move it really quick over to here. Wooden splint. Let's move this back so we can see it a little better in case something does happen. We get it lit again. Hopefully this time, it takes a little bit of time for it to prime the system. All right. What you saw there was hydrogen gas being produced and a little bit of a flame that should have shot out from underneath the, the bottom of the um, bottle. So let's try this one more time. We'll fill the bottle up again. We'll keep this one back a little bit farther here now. All right, so towel back into the trough. I'm going to snake the hose underneath and more likely it's going to pump out all up. So let's add a little bit more acid to this. Okay. Take that out. Okay. So what you have in there too is a little bit of water vapor too, but what really works here is um, making or burning the hydrogen. So splints lit. Okay, you heard it actually burn on that one, not really shoot out a flame. But that's what we got, guys. So what we have here today was we created hydrogen gas, we collected it by water displacement, and we actually tested to see if hydrogen was formed from the chemical reaction. Um, so give me a like, give me a comment, so forth like that, and um, we'll see you next time.